Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're here on part 2 of the first of the final missions and we're doing the Gradient City. So as usual in part 1 we've established our city. In this part 2 we're gonna be trying to uh, settle our city and actually evolve houses up and don't forget part 3 we're going all the way up to luxury palaces but this is an interesting challenge so let's go ahead and get things going. All right, welcome back to Caesar 3. So where we last left off, we've gotten the first one, two, three, four, five, five layers of housing, and we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. Um, first, I want to increase how much... Oh, right, we have requests of timber. Uh, I want to increase how much food we're making here. So I'm going to go ahead and we do have money. Get a ship bridge going over here so that I could change that road up like that. Then I could just move this house from there and then I can put down a bunch of fishing wharves. Like that. How do I... I can do that, right? That's a little weird, but it's going to work. And of course, we're going to need a prefecture and engineer's post. Luckily, one of those guys we kicked out moved into there. Um, so yeah, that's going to boost up our food production for here. Because we need to feed this area. Meanwhile, I'm going to fix up this road right here. So it's a bit more of a straight line. Get the aqueduct shifted over like that so that I can make this a little bit more symmetrical. Move that temple to series over to there. Fix the graphical glitch. There we go, there we go. Phoenix Mancer just subbed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Maybe put the prefecture engineer in the little hook in the road. Um, I would, but then it does risk that they'll never walk this way and that walk could burn down. That's why. I know it, it would aesthetically make sense. By the way, let this too. Lethys 2 is in the works, and they've come up with a very interesting solution to maintaining the walker system without making it be really stupid. <laughs> Basically, when a walker encounters an intersection, so for example, um, I don't have any... Okay, this is an intersection. When a walker crosses this bridge, they could turn left or turn right, right? They could turn left or turn right. So in Caesar 3 and Pharaoh and Zeus and Emperor, it's random. They could walk down the same way like 10 times in a row. But in Lethys 2, this is what they're gonna do. Uh, Triskel Interactive, they're the ones making it. When a walker encounters an intersection and they turn left, it leaves a marker, an invisible marker, that they turn left. So next time when they hit that intersection, if it hasn't been too long, because the marker does disappear on its own after a while, it'll say, oh, I've already turned left, so I'm gonna turn right. So it removes a little bit of the randomization, but you still can't just make infinite intersections and expect it to be stable. Hmm. So that's, I think, a very good way to modernize the walker system. By the way, this is in Lethys 2, which is not out yet. Unless this is the future, and it is. <laughs> By the way, the Lethys 2 art style, looking like Ghibli. It's very nice, very nice. Very random user, just subbed for 13 months in a row. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I just have to wait for food to stockpile. Um, our shipwright, our shipyard rather, is slowly making boats. Once these are all operational, it'll be great. How's our military? We could probably do with another fort of mounted. You know, I'm just gonna max this out. I'm gonna have no legionnaires on this map. We're just gonna have four javelins, two uh, mounted. That'll be good. What if they turn around and get to that intersection again? Will they know they came from the bridge and take the other way? Well, eventually they have to walk back, but... Oh, like if there's a small loop here? I assume so, I assume so. So like if there's a small loop, they come back here. I assume so. I, I, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Is that gonna burn down? Will they get there in time? They got there in time. Okay. <laughs> what is our unemployment? 17%. That's kind of high. So this next level needs entertainment. So I am going to go ahead and put a theater. That will bring that to the next level. How's... Ooh, 2,000 people. That pretty much looks like our our city, right? There's a few of these. Uh, those are those, right? Oh no, those are the next one. These are those. No, no, those. And then some of these around. I see, I see. It's interesting looking at the actual animation and analyzing it. <laughs> see what they put there. Doctor Kill Patient just subbed for nine months in a row. Thank you so much. Ooh, we have enough. Lugdunum wants to trade more furniture. Yes, okay, so first, uh, let us send off that timber. We're stockpiling it there, and they, they can buy how much more furniture? Another 15 units. Okay, um, let us just start by doing this. And seeing if that can keep up. We can increase this more, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, is food stabilizing? I think it is. So we're gonna need a gatehouse. Right there, I think. So that we can get out there. Now once we move beyond this block, I think we need another fishing area to get the fish up to this side. But we are going for Grand Insulae, so we do need two types of food on that final block. We gotta be careful. Zack Zen just spiked, yeah. But that, that, there's a lot to do in these games. I'm trying to focus on everything. Okay. Returning home. Okay. Okay. This is all looking good. The fishing is all operational. It's probably not the most efficient, but it's going okay, I think. It's going okay. Your fish cart pushers have too long to travel to deliver their fish. Yep, Governor Julio, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I suppose I could try that. I don't want to mess up my road systems too much, but... How do I... It's okay if it's there, I think. That should maximize how much fish we're doing. Ask me. Are you gonna support me on Patreon? <laughs> Ask me, thank you so much. Did islands that bridge... Safety cone. Did islands that on bridge spot, do they have any resources to mine or anything? Uh, yes, there's farmland on this island right here. So we are gonna need that because I think I'll be putting my luxury areas here. Okay, good, good. Ooh, food is stockpiling, so we can go ahead and drop a market right here. This is not quite symmetrical, but it's gonna be efficient, so that's great. Uh, and then we have to get this next fishing area going. So I'm gonna have to clear off pretty much all of this to make room for stuff. Uh, not all of it. I'm gonna try and maintain some of these trees. We open up to there, I think. And that's gonna be all fishing, opening up to there. That's gonna be all fishing. Going up to there, and we're gonna need a house right there. And for safety, I'll go prefecture. Oh, can I fit a wharf there? Oh, I can. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to extend this a little bit further. up to there. 
prefecture, prefecture, engineer's post, engineer's post. And we can have a wharf there, yep. Okay, great. Let's just get a lot of food going. And we're gonna have a granary right here. Yeah. This is just gonna be accepting meat. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, did you know that having a governor's palace increases prosperity? Does it? Like, the prosperity rating. Sprouting potatoes. Is that true? It's in the manual. Wow. I didn't know that. But then again, Sajuk that says manual is not really that accurate. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to test that. I'm gonna have to test that. Uh, but look at that. We're getting large hovels. They have some desirability problems. We have plenty of money. Let's plaza up all these blocks. Make sure they evolve to what they're supposed to be. Uh, so these are large hovels. Those are small hovels. So these need education to evolve further. So that's gonna be over there. I don't think... I mean, if we start stockpiling more food, we could feed another block. But I'm gonna be a little bit cautious about this. Uh, I think I have to move this reservoir up as well. Is that... That should be okay. Just about. Okay, good. So we shifted that up because I wanted to shift this aqueduct to make a bit more room here so that I could get that gatehouse down there. Oof. I just realized the problem. If I do that, this market starts... No, I guess we're gonna just keep it separate, yeah? Yeah. So these six blocks are gonna get fish from this area. Just waiting for the boats to come on down. I think it's gonna burn down or collapse. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to try and keep this controlled. Okay. I could place reservoirs on the outsides. Yeah, I, I totally could. I totally could. Um, which reminds me, I do need a reservoir here. So I'm going to need it to be just a little bit further up. One, two, three. So right there should actually work. There we go. So that gets all those fountains working, and all the, okay, all the fountains are actually working. That's that's good. That's good. NJ Luna says, "I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try messing around in one of the levels. What stuffs make people unhappy? Unemployment, high tax, or something? Yeah, high tax. Happiness is also affected by your pay. If you put it eight above what Rome pays, it's the maximum happiness you can get from that. Uh, taxes being at zero percent help as well." So I'm, I'm leaving it all like that because I have way high unemployment, but people idolize me as a god. <laughs> okay, food has actually uh, filled up there. So let's see. All of these are going to need a theater. Right? All of those need a theater. 
Everything beyond here is gonna need a school. So might as well put those down now. Right? Yeah, to get things symmetrical... Oof. You know, maybe I, I change this. Oh, but these blocks are so close to each other. Perhaps this was not such a great idea, putting them so close to each other. But maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can make it work. It's okay. We'll, we'll go one row at a time. So it seems like food is actually stockpiling up. Well, let's get this next road down. If I build a road here, would it be absolutely broken? Because that road is touching the market, so I just need to make sure that the market lady can still spawn on the inside. Looks like yes. Okay, so we need a theater and a school on that block. And that should evolve to the next level of housing. How will a Colosseum fit into this? Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe some, some clever destination walker, yeah? We, we could get some destination walker going. I need to get rid of this reservoir. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Lined with this. One, two, three, four. So that should hit. Those, but it won't hit those. Hmm. Oh, local uprising. Let's deal with them. They're there? Okay. That's so close to everything. Alright, let's get to fighting. I'm sticking to just quick units. <laughs> just sticking to quick units. Are you facing the right way? Yeah. Let's try make sure they don't kill us from there. Please come... Oh, you guys are not facing the right way. <laughs> there we go. We should have plenty to deal with this. Sounds like they're watching the World Cup in that fort. Yeah. Go! Okay, good. They're all dead. They're all dead. Who are those enemies? You know, they're corpses. That's, that's, that's who they are. They're Gaulish warriors. Okay. There we go. There we go. That one prefect, yeah. He's not paid enough to fight. <laughs> but, oh, there we go. We've got small casas. And they need access to a bathhouse. So after that, they need pottery. So I think we need to change things up from this point onwards. Because pottery... I don't know. Will this market take pottery if they don't have bathhouse access. I'm not too sure. But we're gonna need bathhouse access here for this next row of houses. Okay, so that's gonna be small casas. These are gonna be large casas. Mm. Increase the price of olives. That's fine. We can manage that. Okay, we're, we're actually going to get a pretty big boost of population here. So, hmm. Aqueduct.
Okay. Just put some gaps here, make sure there's ways through. Okay. Uh, so we've got that online. A distant Roman city is threatened. Okay. Okay. Emperor requests an army. So it's a small force. So I guess we send four of these. Horses, javelin, javelin, javelin. Just to guarantee it. Should be okay. Should be okay. Yeah, we're not under attack right now. There's the enemy army threatening a city of the Empire. Okay. Off you guys go. That should be enough. I draw lines just subbed for 11 months in a row. Thank you so much, I draw lines. Uh, I guess I should just fill up all of these, right? You know, perhaps we don't need to provide Colosseum access because we do know a secret. We do know a secret. <laughs> Grand Insulates don't need Colosseum access. Okay, now, um, how are the gods feeling? Pleased? Okay, I'm gonna clear all of this off. I'm gonna clear off these houses too. Because I want to shift the pottery industry. This is going to be accepting pottery. This is going to be accepting clay. And I'm gonna shut down this. Yeah, you just keep accepting pottery. We'll keep making the pottery here. But I'm going to shift, how many? One, two, six workshops. Can I fit that? Uh, pottery. Now I need to shift. Two, three, four. I gotta move the barracks. Hmm. I'm just mentally checking this. The barracks, I will temporarily just... Stick right there. Okay. Workshop. Potter. You know, let's move this academy as well. Military academy. Just stick it right there. I know that's expensive, but we need six pottery workshops here. Okay, six pottery workshops. So this will continue to produce all that pottery. God's unhappy, right, right, right. Let's uh, just real quick fix this problem. Mars and Venus okay great wrong button uh, how are they feeling they're all angry okay so I could try and get another blessing from Mars so we'll do that okay good good Oof. one warehouse for clay pottery is enough uh, no we can import more clay than pottery so the clay will eventually overflow because it's 15 plus 25, but we can only sell 25 pottery. But, you know, I just like keeping it clean. I like keeping it clean. Uh, I will put down an extra pottery workshop because we're going to start using pottery soon. Because we need to get these large casas going. Um, but how am I going to do this? I 
just realized we have to pretty much move all of this stuff. Uh, let us start with here. School. Oh, just in time. Okay, great. Let's dispatch that. If I put a school here, what happens? Oh, I don't want to put a school there. But if I put a school here, what happens? Let me... let me see. Do they spawn... Education, school. How do they spawn if they're touching two roads? I never do this because I like to keep control, but... If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to spread out these blocks. So it's spawned all on one side. They don't split up. They don't split up. But do they always spawn on one side? Because if they always spawn on the same side, that's okay too. Ooh, 3,000 people. Sprouting Potato says, it. yes, it's always the same side. Okay. So it's always the northern side. Okay, okay, that's good. So we can then, if I do this, will that work in the same way? Will that work in the same way? So this requires education. So if this spawns as I want it to. No, 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 no. It doesn't work the same way. Why? What determines that? I don't know. But I'm gonna need a gatehouse here. Um... So I think to make room, I shift the single ones around, and I think I'm gonna need some doctors as well. Uh, let's also go, let's shift the prefecture and engineer's post on these other ones to save room. Okay. Oh! It spawned down here. It is random which side they spawn. Okay, well this is just too, too messy for me. I'm gonna have to do this. Then I'm gonna do this. And then I need this road. I see the problem with this aqueduct. Aqueduct. Let's shift it over by one. Okay. By the way, just so you guys know, none of these silly block designs I do are ever good ideas. <laughs> um, sometimes people come across my series and they start saying, no, you can't build blocks like that. You gotta, you gotta like have, you know, proper circles and stuff, you know, but that's not the point of this playthrough. That's not the point of this playthrough. Okay, but now that we've hooked that up, we can then... How am I gonna do this? I can put a warehouse right here and set this to getting pottery. Right? So we can go get pottery from there as we are producing more pottery than we are selling. Have these emptied out? Almost, almost. So we're gonna start getting pottery. Is he going down that way? 27% unemployment. <laughs> That's why taxes are zero. Uh, gonna have to wait for that small casa to devolve, but... Uh, let's see. If I just follow this layout... We might be able to pull it off, but I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna do this for now. Uh, clear that off. And we move the schools over to this side. 
so that I can clear this off. And just for now, get these going to hook 10 vines? Okay, okay. Very weird requests, but I suppose we can get that sort of set up. Um. Okay, just real quick, get this going before I forget, because this is the kind of thing I forget. Prefecture, engineer's post, road continues into there, and just get a vine farm going. Okay, so I've hooked all of these up. That hooks there, okay, okay. So I wanted to feed this. So we can at least get this going. I have to now plan my Grand Insule and Villas on the western side of the map. Yeah, uh... We'll see if I can get it going properly, but... Let, let's go one block at a time, because I'm running out of room for services because it's not touching things properly. I think I have to shift them all two tiles out. These last four blocks, I think I have to shift them further out. That would probably just make things so much easier. Hmm. I'll need two luxury areas. One for the two types of food, one for the three types of food. That's a good point, yes. Okay. Um, speaking of the second type of food. Uh, ship bridge. Ship bridge. Bridge. Oh, okay. We're going to need to get a second type of food for just the Grand Insulator. All those sheep are booking it. Look at that. I'm going to clear that for farmland. Uh, how do I... Wheat, fruit, vines. Uh, wheat. It's probably easiest. Uh, it probably, correct me if I'm wrong, but it does grow fastest on this as well. If I just do that. That's probably not the most efficient, but I'm gonna do it so that I can squeeze in some houses there. Just get the prefecture and engineer's post down. And I will stick the... I'm gonna gate that off so that I can put a granary here set to accepting just wheat. And if I get rid of that, I should be able to put a gatehouse here instead, actually. Yeah. And the road goes through the granary, so I don't need that. And instead... Storms, okay. I clear that off and have a granary here. Set to getting wheat. And to make sure, because there's a lot of intersections here, I'm going to scatter a couple more prefectures. Oh, that's going to be a problem as well. A couple more engineers posts. Just spam them up, because we have to hook that up. You know, I'm just going to secure this by using a gatehouse. Okay, pottery is coming down. Why is fish in here? Why, why is there fish in this warehouse? I hate it when this happens. Okay, but look at that. We have large casas and they need more entertainment. Okay, so now we have to get up to that row. 
And I think this is where... Because it's going to become small insulars. Mm. Build another bridge to solve the problem? I could. Jaquan says, I've watched your YouTube videos on Caesar 3 and was hoping you could please shed some more light on gatehouses and how exactly they work. Jaquan, they act as a roadblock. There are two types of walkers, wandering and destination, right? Destination are a walkers... Oh, we're killing some sheep. Uh, destination are walkers that are going somewhere. So for example, a cart pusher going to a warehouse or a market lady going to a granary. Those with destinations in mind can go through gatehouses. The wandering walkers just spawn and walk along roads randomly. And it is random. Those cannot pass through gatehouses. So when you use a gatehouse like this, the random walkers are guaranteed to make a full loop inside your housing area. Good. Now, these last four areas for the insulae, I'm just gonna wreck this whole thing. We have plenty of employment, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna clear off all of this. So it's Mars, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury. We need more space. So, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four instead. And keep it the same length, but they're four tiles away. One, two, three, four. That will give enough room for services. Okay. And then it's here. Okay. This hooks up here. And one, two, three, four. And with all these people moving out, we can use the homeless trick to get them to move back in. So everyone... Let's just do a single row of houses first. You do that to distribute the evenness. Fountains go... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Small statues. And everything will be as it was. Uh, prefectures. Engineers posts. Look at how the homeless people start going back to the homes evenly because of the arrangement I put. Uh, the order I put the houses, rather. I actually went into debt for this. Okay, let's speed things up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back to normal. Okay. You should make sure you're only fed by fish houses never get access to wheat. That's a good point. That's a good point. We only need wheat for that one area. Oh, that's why we're killing sheep, okay. But I can't cross through here. That's all rock. I know what to do. We don't need any of this. There we go, there we go. Uh, <laughs> we just need a warehouse, like, in this block. You know, I'm gonna do it properly. I'm not gonna be lazy. I need to shift this aqueduct though. When we have money. Oh, that's right, the stormy seas. That's why we're, we're sort of losing money. It's okay. I 
are we are we maxing our sales? Maxed pottery. Almost maxed furniture. Three more units, and it's December. So we're almost maxing all of our stuff. I think it's time we start taxing people. Right? <laughs> Let's just tax people. At least the ones we're feeding, okay? If you get food, we tax you. Food down here for the first few blocks seems to be doing okay. You can build a bridge north of the rocky island. Stormy Why are there so many stormy seas? Really? You can build a bridge... But, I mean, people can't walk through this rock, right? Like, the walkers can't go through the mountains. Can they? I don't think so. We're just gonna stockpile up all of that first, okay? We need money. So we just sold some stuff. It is January, so everything's reset. What are we selling first? Oh, boats did come? Oh, boats are here. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. We're out of debt. I shouldn't be doing those things when it's so late in the year. So I'm just going to go back into debt for me to do this, yeah? Don't mind me. Just a bit of a pa. Let's clear this up. Okay, that adds a bit more space for things, okay. Uh, we're gonna need aqueducts here. So I'm just gonna do that and that. Okay. So that gets all of those evolved. Okay, okay. This gradient city is starting to come together. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the 12 normal housing. Okay, okay. So we're getting there. Um, I needed to get the gatehouse down for here. Uh, so that I could... Since I'm keeping that area separate, I actually need to stockpile up meat, don't I? And get that roadless as well. So if I just do this, do that. I know we get invaded from there, but... Stick some houses right there. The prefecture and engineer's post down there. How is health, by the way? Below average? Okay, we need a doctor. So we know this area is going to need a doctor anyway, so let's do that. And I'm going to need... Maybe a shortcut through the woods here. So that I could get the two granaries set to getting wheat and getting fish and the warehouses set to getting wheat. and getting fish. We don't need a lot, but I still think I'll need two warehouses for getting wheat.
Okay. That will actually work. Okay, okay. Lord Nesla says, I didn't even know YouTube had a community tab. Yeah, it's a little hard to find sometimes, <laughs> but it's there, it's there. Ugh. Oh. I think that will all work as intended. Trade more clay. Where wanted to trade more clay? No, no, not city in debt. Valencia. I think that's a bug. Vil wait. Valencia is willing to trade more clay, but Valencia does not sell clay. I think that's a bug. I think that's a bug. <laughs> okay, those have moved in. Fantastic. Let's make sure nothing burns down here or collapses. Okay. So they're gonna go off and start getting the food. You can see the fish is real close, so that's not gonna be a problem. The wheat is a bit more of a walk. You can see they're pushing very far. Fish is gonna come through here. Okay, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. So we actually don't need a gatehouse here, and we could actually fit one more fishing wharf if we needed it. There we go. Trade more marble. I can't afford to import marble quite yet. How much taxes are we bringing in? Eh, people love me. Okay, let's tax some more. <laughs> We're not bringing in a lot of taxes, but an extra thousand a year doesn't hurt. Was it even a thousand? It's like 900. Okay. I mean, we have unemployment. We can just tax everyone. Might as well. Just just tax everyone. Okay, because I did start out this mission maximizing exports. Right, so we're making as much money as we can. I mean, we're not selling foodstuffs. Um, I mean, we're not selling fish or fruit, but that really doesn't make a lot of money. I mean, we could sell a lot of fish. 25 units to Lugdunum, but... Three caravans come a year. Each one can buy eight units. Two, two sets come each year, so 16 units. So 16 times three is, they come three times a year, right? 30, 6, 12, 18, 30, 48. Yeah, if I started selling fish, I would actually sell less furniture. Just because the caravans can only carry so much. Okay, a bit of wheat's coming down here. Uh, they need to go get 800 units before it can go into the... Is it four caravans? Is it four caravans? If it's four caravans, then I could start selling fish. Roman city saved. Can someone confirm to me if it's three or four caravans a year? If it's four, it means I could totally sell fish for some extra cash. Three boats, four caravans? Is that how it is? How much time do I have for this? Oh, plenty of time. Is that? Oh, fantastic. Dispatched. Okay, so these last four areas for Insulasia, yeah, they needed more space for services. Which I think still goes along with the, the gradient feel of the city. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um... So we need... We do have plenty of... We're gonna need amphitheaters. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, wow. um, but that reminds me, we also need to have a warehouse here set to getting everything else. We need to get some pottery. We need to get some furniture. We need to get some oil and get some wine. This is a lot of stuff 
Wait, no, we don't need wine here. We do need oil. We do need furniture. We, okay. We need those three. It's only a few houses, so it should be okay. It should be okay. There is space for a bridge directly to the mainland, right by the granary. Fair by what? <laughs> I'm not too sure what you mean. Not too sure what you mean. Uh, but there we go. Fish is in there. We're bringing in back a little bit of wheat here. So we're going to have the two types of food. So I could just start with the market. Uh, we can make... I know I'm focusing on this area a little bit. Oh, I didn't build the temples. They're irritated. Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars. I actually don't have money. Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Okay. The gods are jealous. The gods are jealous. <laughs> the warehouse on Grain Islands, this one? Is there actually... Oh, you can do that. I see. But that's gonna be 1,300. So I'll do that next. It will mess up some of the roads, but I think it's okay. You can connect that. Oh, I see. I see. But there we go. We've got 600, 800? How much can they grab? Oh, she's getting wheat first. Okay, this place is just immediately gonna have two types of food. And we can just evolve this, right? Baths. Okay, we are gonna be under attack. So just in case, I'm gonna save. So that's gonna start evolving. We don't have a school here yet, so let's put down a school. We could give them a library as well, they'll need that. Uh, they have a doctor. They'll need a barber, okay. Okay, let's just get these evolved first, yeah? So pottery has come in, okay. That's a pa. That's okay. Yeah, if I build a bridge there, it'll actually shorten this getting distance to the wheat significantly. But it looks like they were all fed with the first round of wheat. Yeah, some have two types of food. Okay. More stormy seas. Okay, okay. Did I remember to... Oh, I forgot to turn off my salary. That was a hundred a month going into savings that I don't use. A hundred a month. Oh well. I'll just use that for... You know, I might as well just send a gift right now. <laughs> 27... You know, let's, let's not, let's not. Let's try win without sending gifts. Uh, I, do, I don't use personal savings in this playthrough. It's fine, it's fine. It's just a little handicap. I'm good enough at the game. Uh, do I have enough money to plaza this up? Because we're gonna need to do that. There we go. Let's just do that, yeah? So we've got small insulate. I forgot we need to tax these people as well. We're gonna go into debt so that we can tax them. Okay. Needs a supply of pottery. Okay, we're gonna stabilize the pottery supply first. Um, we are selling all of our furniture. Wow, okay. I need to rearrange this a little bit. I think I cut back on pottery production and just focus on furniture production for now. But there we go, we've got small insulates, furniture and oil will bring them up 
to Grand Insulase. They need a Colosseum, which... This area does need to be separated from everything else. So I can fit a Colosseum right there. Actually, they don't need Colosseum access. We just need high entertainment ratings. We don't need a Colosseum here. Right? We found that out on Lugdunum. We don't need a Colosseum. We just need to maintain high entertainment values. Which we probably can't without Colosseums anyway, so we probably might as well build a Colosseum there. Uh, we need room for the entertainment buildings, though. So I guess we could fit two there. Do we need an actor's guild? An actor colony? Do you actually need an actor colony? Have I done a Caesar 3 tower defense against Allegiance? I have not. You know, as a special challenge, maybe not in this actual campaign playthrough, I want to be able to uh, fend off invasions on Carthago with just entertainment. I want to see if that's possible. How many gladiator schools and coliseums and amphitheaters and stuff, like, can you fend off? Is it possible at all to hold off Carthago's invasions with just gladiators and prefects? Actually, no, just gladiators and, like, charioteers. Because charioteers fight as well, right? Is it possible? Malco for dropping 100 bits, thank you so much. I, but I want to figure out. If not Carthago, maybe Mediolanum? Mediolanum, maybe? <laughs> but lion tamers, right? Just use lion tamers and gladiators to, to fend off everything. Charities don't fight? Oh, okay. Okay. So this looks stable. So it's not a lot of houses. This market is grabbing the food pottery? Wheat, okay. Okay, just waiting for some money to go up here. What is our... Wow, just getting that up to small insulator? Ah, it's like doubled our tax. How Do people like me? People love me? Okay, let's raise taxes. We need the money. Yeah, we're, we're not getting enough. I should be able to waste a little space here. So that I could break that open. A triumph! Your victorious soldiers march home proudly! All of your people bask in their glory and goodwill fills the city. But I wanted to put another warehouse right here to go get furniture. And turn this off from getting furniture. A card is returning from delivery oil. Ah, right. So you want to mix oil and... F if you only have two warehouses getting three resources, you want to have the same warehouse getting the most desired thing and the least desired thing. So if you're going for four resources, you want to have pottery and uh, wine being gotten on one because the load for... it balances the load. Furniture, you kind of need somewhere between pottery and oil. So one shipment of oil should actually last quite a while. Where is... It had the oil symbol, so it's grabbing oil from down here. It's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Oh, there's our troops. They just came back. Look at that. Moving in on diamond formation. Very nice. Uh, I should probably uh, shorten this distance a little bit, right? If I just do that. Actually, I don't need to do that. I'm not using these two at all. Let's break that open. There we go. That should shorten the distance a little bit. And also, Stormy Seas again. I'm going to break that open so they can walk through there to bring the oil over. Yeah. He's returning with oil. Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, there's plenty of pottery. That guy's gonna go grab the furniture. Okay, okay.
Why does a diamond formation work so well with enemies? Uh, because they ig they ignore movement penalties. They can walk through your troops. Uh, that's when the enemies have the diamond formations, they just walk through your troops rather than clashing against the troops. So they get right into the middle and they can even bypass a layer of legionnaires and just start chopping up your, your javelins. Oh, where do we get all that money from? Okay. Uh, so some oils come in here, and this oil can't be sold because we're selling it by sea. So that's good. Uh, so once we get some furniture down here, we're actually going to be able to open this up. Bring back pottery, yeah. Oh, we didn't get any furniture? Oh, there's not enough furniture. We need to just produce more furniture. But now that money has come in, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bust this open. I need to bust that open so that I can get the two timber yards down. And I'm gonna change the shape of this road. One, two, three, four. So that I can do this. I'm gonna bust that open. Change the position of the houses to there. Break that open, get rid of that. And... Actually, if I put two gatehouses here... ...and then get rid of those two... ...put the workshops for pottery here... ...one, two, three, four, five, six... ...put the workshops for... ...furniture... ...here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six... ...so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And we actually don't need a doctor there. I'll just put a doctor for the poor people. Okay. So the reason why I put two gatehouses here Is for no reason. I, I was preparing for something. Well, it's a... Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Workshop furniture. I was preparing for something that was not gonna happen. Okay. And just to make sure nothing burns down, I'm gonna do this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For 6 of those, that should start producing enough... Uh, ...furniture to use. Okay. Yeah, once the first feeding is gone, the pottery and oil and all of that actually lasts quite a while. I know I'm kind of skipping these houses, but I kind of want to just make sure the Grand Insulate works, right? just want to make sure that we get the Grand Insulate working, because then after that, it's easier to work backwards. Um, but yeah. There is still plenty of pottery, right? Yeah. If I move the warehouse for the furniture there... Might be able to boost production a little bit more. I think I do need backup houses there, though. You know, I think it's fine. All the furniture workshops are currently working. So it should be okay. It should be okay. We have been selling fish as well, right? Yeah, we maxed fish sales. And that warehouse is still full of fish. I just worry... What else does this trade route do? They just buy, they sell us clay. Okay. 
Because sometimes if you do this, they, you, they'll they sell you, like, they'll buy something from here, then they'll sell you something where it's not supposed to be. But it's okay, okay. Oh, look, we've got medium insulates. They need more desirability. And we are under attack. You could change the trade options to not sell over zero. Yeah, but I'm trying to max my exports as well, because not going into debt is more important than grand insulates. But let's see. It is here, okay. I really need to get walls up. And this is why we don't have legionnaires. Okay. Let's just create a back up here <laughs> just in case just in case let's make sure there are shortcuts these guys are pretty quick huh oh that prefect is heading on out there All right, troops got there in time. Oh, you guys are facing the wrong way. Okay, now we can fight. Whew. Walls are expensive. Use rows of peasants instead to slow them down. <laughs> there we go. Who are these guys? Gaulish warriors? Kenneth the Fastidious? Don't kill my furniture, dude, please. Leave the furniture dude alone. Look, he's just pushing some tables and chairs through the battlefield. <laughs> he's, he's surviving, he's surviving. All right, he, he made it, he made it. Oof, okay. Fast units, good units. That's the true hero, this guy. Cornelius Calius. He's just, oh, I'll, there's a battlefield in my way, but, you know, boss wants me to bring these tables and chairs. You know, can't be late on this. Can't go around the battlefield. We just gotta... <laughs> Amidst the flying... Oh, what happened here? Oh, the houses evolved into the gardens, right? I forgot they would do that. Uh, but we're gonna have some Grand Insulae problems here anyway. I just break this open. Let that evolve out. Okay. This is a bit of a pain. I forgot they were gonna do that. I'll have to just slowly shift it, I think. They have to be Grand Insulates, that's the whole point of a Gradient City. But I don't like these gaps, so I'm gonna have to eventually do this anyway. Alright, oh, desirability, that's what I was gonna fix. I just have a large statue have like a row of medium statues there because that makes sense I mean that can look okay at least it's a bit more symmetrical maybe I'll let that slide and to make sure nothing messes up here I'm gonna put small statues there gardens on the back that looks okay so it's just missing missing one house missing one house okay do I have enough money for the bridge? Yes, I do. Um, ship bridge. Bam. So that's gonna... This road connects, right? It does. I just do this, do that. 
I can do that to avoid that road connection. Okay. There we go. There we go. Because if the prefects are walking down there, things could catch fire. That super shortens the wheat getting distance though, so that's amazing. So what do these guys need now? Entertainment? What's our employment? 15%? So yeah, let's go ahead and put down the Colosseum. Oh, those roads are gonna mess it up. Okay. Colosseum. Let's just put one down. And how little do we need? To get this working. Can we get away with just a lion house? Can we get away with just a lion house? I'm not too sure. I've never tested things like this before. But that should help with unemployment as well. We've got the three resources there. We've got the two types of food. I want to get Grand Insule in this part. Cool Blade says that feels like a very cheap trick. What does? Oh, Governor Julio says that was the bridge you thought about. Ah, I see, I see. There's the Grand Insulase, look at that! Cool Blade, what feels like a cheap trick? You know, considering how all of this looks like that, I'm gonna have to, right? It's just, I cannot. I cannot. Let's get those two houses evolved first. And we need a house there, which we can start going now, but I'll put a statue there to limit that from expanding. Okay. So I'll expand properly. Okay. Okay. I guess we start stockpiling that then. We got the we got the lion houses. We got the lion tamers going. Okay, we need a warehouse here. For wine. Okay. Just get. How much do we need? We ha actually have lots of time, right? But I'm gonna put down two wine workshops. And we probably need... second vine farm, just to keep things going. Okay. So Grand Insulets are almost done. Almost done. You know, I didn't... <laughs> There's no gladiator combat, no current place. Do we even need these? Or does this count? You know, just... Just to have a little bit. I'm gonna put a gladiator school. I'm gonna put a gladiator school. Turns out you don't need it, but... Because entertainment, amphitheater... There's... They, they do... I think this is definitely a programming problem. Oh gods. They're indifferent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to import, like, some marble or something. I'm just gonna put a warehouse here. Wait, who sells marble? Is it land trade route? No, it's the water trade route. Okay. Which means... Sell me some marble. Then we can get some oracles going. Uh, trade, furniture... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Pottery. I have two warehouses doing this. Okay, import marble. Okay, that will ensure we have enough resources going around the city. These houses should evolve relatively quickly. And once those two evolve, then I'll let this expand. Supply of pottery. So yeah, just waiting for the market lady to walk around. Go on. Expand, expand, expand. Yeah. 
8% unemployment. Ah. Since we are getting close to our employment shortage, all I have to do is put down a market here and feed that area. And we might as well plaza up all the remaining areas. Okay, that looks good. Those two tent blocks, they don't get plazas. <laughs> uh, second type of food, that'll come down soon. That needs more space to expand. Okay, so now I can break that. Needs the second type of food. There goes the market lady. And Grand Insulae is done. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now working back for the other insulates will be not so hard. This, this is the hardest insulate because it needs two types of food, so we need to keep everything separate. But there we go. This will bring in the next set of population, which we do need amphitheater. We do need the school. This is going to be the medium insulates, so they do need this. Okay, right? This market should get the pottery as well. Uh, one warehouse should be able to support both of these areas. Uh -huh. That will get it to small insulate. What, what do small insulates? Do they need furniture? Go get the pottery. We can real quick get this area evolved. So at least the coastal side is all set up. Okay. Oh, bad. Right. So that gets health provisions. Doctor. And then they need furniture. Okay. Uh, to do that... I guess I will just use this area here. And set the furniture exports to be above 16. Okay, to make sure we can have 8-8 eight, eight stored up here, that will bring in furniture here. It will not evolve these because they need entertainment. So we could get... I just want to see this done. Get the coastal houses done. Okay, there goes the market lady grabbing the furniture and... Yes. Medium insulates, yes. <laughs> Look at that. At least the coastal areas have been set. All right, that's going to be the end of part two of Caesar 3 on... We're in Massilia. Massilia. In the next part, we will be finishing off our gradient and then getting the luxury villas and palaces so that we can have one of each type of housing and it's gonna be amazing. So if you're watching this on YouTube, do just click the button on the screen right now to take you to part three. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.